folks, welcome to today's Real Deal Fish Show. We got a big surprise for you. We're here with Antonio Go Go Gomez. We're at White Metal Lake. We're gonna hopefully get hopefully get on some fish right from the beginning. Go Go, you looking forward to this? We're gonna get him in a kayak today. It's gonna be my first time. I've been waiting. I didn't really sleep all night. And for you people out there, I'm gonna tell you what it's all about. And don't forget, watch us today at the Real Deal Fishing Show. We're Rich and Bill. That's right. The best kayakers in the world. Now, if you guys don't know, it's freezing. It's like 45 degrees <laughs> compared to 87 <laughs> the other day. <laughs> so we're going to do this. We're getting out there. Antonio's first time in a kayak. And watch how fast he'll start get, catching some bass. And soon I'm going to buy one. <laughs> get ready. Here we go. <laughs> Even I still do it. See, if you, if you don't have the... The label up. The labels. You're yeah. not. You see the how it, it curves it like curves, there. Yeah. You have it. Have it like this. Oh, so the curve facing is on the, the right bottom. way. Okay. Yeah. So then you'll get a bite out of the water. The bite? It'll propel you okay. a little so, easier. And the same when I want to turn to the right. There, yeah, more either, to the right. You want to turn, I'm whatever go, way you want to turn. Slow down. The same thing. A bunch of paddles on that one side. I want to go and back. they'll turn. Very important thing right here, your life jacket, your PFD. This is vital, you need this with you on every trip. So this is an NRS kayak fishing life jacket. You'll see it's that you write the back, the, this, this, this back support's really great how it sits on, on the back seat. You zipper that up, stressing PFDs and safety. You can put your phone in here if you want, some extra bags of tackle. So it'll, it's also very fishable out there. Now you're set, let's get your paddle. We're ready. We're ready to make a kayak fishing show. So look out, guess ready. Look out, Bass. Go go, go, go Gomez, Gomez is in ready, the house. Ready to catch him up. So yeah, once you once you get used to it, you look okay. Relax. Just you're on vacation, you know. Put the triton away, put the boat away. Just come on, just relax. For the first time, I just see him a little shaky, but guess what? It's all in the handle. First bass, top water. Top water kayak bass. Kayak bass. So this is your first bass ever in a kayak, right? First bass, I had two blobs before, and I finally got to catch one on a top water Binsky. From a tournament bass fisherman, what is it like getting from the boat and getting into a kayak, Go go. Well, it's like, it was phenomenal. It's different, way different. All of this is balanced, just relax. Enjoy yourself and just go with the paddle. Don't shake. I started shaking and then I just started going real slow, cast and short cast, get the feel of the kayak, and you're moving the boat and look. Turn on to kayak fishing. First bass. <laughs> hey folks, they're not giants yet, but we're catching them. This guy, barely, barely a pound. Barely a few inches, but uh, we're having fun. That's what kayak fishing is all about. You know, we're out here with Antonio Gogo Gomez on his first kayak fishing trip ever. So I'm happy he got his first bass on top water at that. Very exciting bite to get. And we're catching him up. You know, right now the bite isn't big fish, but that's what kayak fishing is about. We're having fun. And hopefully we can put him on some larger guys than this. But if not, it's a great trip so far. There you go, Gogo go, Gomez. Another bass, Gogo. Go. Yes. What are you doing? Throwing the top water, Vinsky. And there's a lot of blow ups, I just keep on missing them. I'm trying to get the balance of the boat too, but I'm having a phenomenal time. I think you all need to set an appointment with the real deal fishing show, Rich, because I mean, never been in a kayak, he's an extra kayak. Just keep on post, ask him them. And the second one, I missed a whole bunch, I missed a big pickerel before, a couple of bass, top water. But I'm gonna catch some more soon, so. Those out there, never been in a kayak, they're here. Come. Hey guys, yeah, we're following Antonio Go Go Gomez around here. He's uh, having a blast. Got out of the Triton, put him in a kayak, and he's getting fish, you know, some, uh, bass. And, having a couple blow ups on the top water. This is a really cool lake for top water. You just throw it midday, sun high in the sky and they still 
they still blasted. So we're uh, hoping for some bigger fish. But he's having a good time. You see him over there. He's working the shoreline. There's a willow tree down in the water. Hopefully we hear a screech and that that will be him. Let me go over and see what's going on. But throwing my whopper flopper. Good job. And my whopper flopper. Just throwing it out here in open water at that, right? Yeah. I was fishing in two feet over weeds and I found a little deeper water and that's where he was. Be careful, I don't want to get another hook in my finger. But hey, better than nothing, right? That seems to be the pattern of the day, that size. <laughs> yeah, that that front that blasted through. They're hunkered down. And I'll take whatever I can get right now at this point. <laughs> But it's great, man. You know, whether you fish from a bass boat or you get on a kayak. That's right. And it's nice, high, bright sun, and they're still hitting top water here. They're not, they're not big, but, you know, they're bass. So I'll keep throwing it. And hey, what's the deal with the Whopper Plopper? People out there haven't heard about a Whopper Plopper. Oh, man, I love this thing. I think it's like a quest between, like, a jerk bait and a buzz bait. It's just got that little section in the back with the little fin that spins when you pull it. Kind of like a torpedo or something with a, a prop on the back. And it kind of makes a little extra noise. Gurgles, bubbles. There's all kinds of good things. Oh, Antonio! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Pickerel! Nice pickerel. Yeah! Kayak bass fishing, pickerel, everything's in here. Walleye, everything. Catching them. Little by little, but guess what? Can you tell us about that jerk bait? Well, this jerk bait, called a Skeletor. It's a custom one they made for me. Watch baits. So I started throwing it. Had two bites, missed them, but at least I caught a pickerel so far. <laughs> oh, go, go. <laughs> On a spinner bait, huh? Trip of Vibratron spinner bait. Good job. They're getting bigger, Gogo. -Go. Yeah. Little by little. Can't beat them. Hey, they're here. They're everywhere. Yep. So you know, I told you this lake has fish. I didn't guarantee giant fish right now. You know, we had that cold front that moved through, but you're catching them still, and that's the important thing. Definitely. You know, you need to come out, you know, relax. Get in a kayak. Put the boat away for a change. Bring your family. They have kayaks everywhere you go now, and all the lakes and everything. Talk to Rich, the real deal fisherman. He'll tell you where to go, you know, where to meet you. And guess what? Catch fish. That's Talk what it's day. about. Have fun. Let's go, go. <laughs> you just caught the fish. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> go, 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 man. It's catching fast. Be my new wife. <laughs> Your new wife. <laughs> Don't say nothing, everybody, but guess what? Go, go. She's green. <laughs> green as green as me. <laughs> so, everybody, you need to come out kayak fishing because as you see, they're everywhere. Small, big. Awesome, brother. Oh, you're getting intimate. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Swim bait bass. Kayak fishing. My two good friends, Bill Perino and Antonio Coco Gomez. Yeah. Wind's kicking up a bit. Cold front moved through, so fish are a little sluggish, but we're catching them, we're having fun. That's what this trip's all about. Getting Antonio out of his bass boat, out of his Triton. Well, we got a swim bait bass right here on that Z-Man diesel minnow. Got water on the camera, we're all, all shook up. It's not a giant fish, but a bit right next to the boat as I was bringing that swim bait out of the water, he gobbled it down. So we're gonna let this guy go. Game changer, little, little deformed little bass here. Oh, yeah, you're right, he does have a hump. It's called a humpback bass. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the episode. We'll see you next time on what show? The, the Real, Real Deal. Deal Fishing Show. Keep it real.